Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India
taxi seem to require. Thus, if educators are to allow for new literate spaces, they need to know how to do so within the standard curriculum. So, writer here has identified a gap. So, how you integrate it into the standard curriculum that has been elaborated here. So, there is focus on you know uh, standards, testing and accountability. So, therefore, there is a problem. So, teachers, educators you know they need to know how to integrate uh, uh, new literacies into standard school curriculum. Specifically, few researchers explore student sense of their literate identity in academic and creative writing or how context matters in how students feel about themselves and their writing. While most researchers Binder and Kostopoulos 2011 and you can also see there are more studies cited. So, refer to what they call the mono literacy landscape of schools, the limits of literate experience to print, none really compare the opportunities that academic writing gives students versus say creative writing before, during and after the study. So, here the writer is bringing another point comparing um, academic writing versus creative writing. That is focusing only on the value of digital storytelling for example, or creative writing is not sufficient to effect reform in school. Are there really significant differences between different kinds of writing? What are these differences? Such a gap in research seems to necessitate an inquiry into a student's emergent sense of authorship in different forms of composing, even academic writing in and out of school. So, writer here adds another dimension. You know. So, far it has been about creative writing, I am going to look at academic writing as well. Therefore, I propose a study that I will provide an analysis of both academic and creative writing in an after school program that helps children develop as learners through tutoring and enrichment. So, this is you know clearly uh, the research uh, propose the, uh, the purpose of this study, the research question you can also say. So, an analysis of both academic and uh, you know creative writing in an after school program that helps children develop as learners through tutoring and enrichment. So, this is the uh, research question. One implication of my research would be to show why educators might expand the types of literate experiences that students have in school. So, the writer here is talking about the implications of the study, proposed study. In order to investigate the possible differences between multimodal creative and standardized academic writing, this proposed study aims to explore a the unique opportunities afforded by the multiple means of expression inherent in digital storytelling, b how and if these opportunities create an alternative space for the growth of empowered literate identities and a sense of agency, c the extent to which writing supports a student's development of an authorial voice and d why schools should be concerned with affordances given to the development of a student's written voice and individual identity by including multimodal digital storytelling in the curriculum. So, th the purpose of the research has been briefly stated here, we saw here. Um, now, the proposer gives more details. So, um, the proposed study aims to explore then there are four clear points. The study focuses on analyzing the student sense of authorship in both their academic and creative assignments. To what extent can standard academic and creative multimodal expression help students develop an authorial identity and the skills they need to flourish in and out of school? Considering the current atmosphere of accountability and federal testing, Hull and Katz 2006, it is important to ask what role multimodal composing can play in the standard and narrow curriculum. So, this is you know about introduction. There is also very brief review of um, uh, studies here. 
and the writer has identified the gap, has stated uh, you know the purpose of the study, uh, then detailed research questions are uh, mentioned here. Now, the writer talks about methodology. To address the aims of my study, I will conduct interviews and focus groups to examine students' attitudes about writing in and out of school at the Crusoe Community Learning Center CCLC in a small midwestern city. Interviews and focus groups will enable me to discover student attitudes and feelings about writing across the in-school and out-of-school context in order to develop some insight into how writing can enable or disengage students. I will also take field notes taken by a participant observer in the after-school creative writing workshop to develop a picture of the after-school classroom dynamics. So, writer here says, uh, uh, no, the tools will be interviews and focus groups. Then there will also be after-school, uh, you know, uh, writing workshop and uh, a participant observer will take notes and those notes will be uh, examined by the researcher. So, this is talks about the tools going to be used, also the location where the study is going to be conducted is mentioned. This is a Crusoe Community Learning Center in a small midwestern city. Context. So, now more details about uh, CCLC. The CCLC is an off campus educational initiative of a nearby private university in partnership with the surrounding neighborhood residents. Serving around 600 participants in the regular programming, the CCLC also partners with the community schools in the surrounding area with program outreach connecting to nearly 8000 additional youths throughout the year. Located in a high traffic, low income neighborhood, the CCLC's mission centers around promoting hospitality, education, partnership, civic engagement and sustainability in the surrounding area and all the participants. So, as you can see, the CCLC is a special arrangement. So, the proposal here gives more details about it. So, this is not a regular school classroom, this is some special arrangement made by uh, you know a private university in partnership with uh, some surrounding neighborhood residents. So, there are more details about it. Organized around operating as a learning center and gathering space, the CCLC fosters relationships with the students, the surrounding residents and the city's universities in a safe collaborative atmosphere. Classes and programming range from English as a new language ENL. So, this is another feature you can observe. So, you have used a term, then you introduce its abbreviation. Later on, you use only the abbreviation. So, that you may have already noticed here. So, this CCLC, so the full form is written here for the first time. Along with that, the abbreviation is also introduced. So, now readers know when you say CCLC, it refers to this thing. English as a new language, ENL to financial literacy, entrepreneurship, basic computing and one-on-one -on -one tutoring for area children conducted by college volunteers. The creative writing class and the CCLC's curriculum, curricular environment will provide an appropriate population and unique space to explore the possible affordances between creative and academic writing. So, here now the writer is justifying the choice. So, why CCLC? So, here is the justification. With the after school programming divided in weekly day by day activities entered, sorry, centered on enrichment, academic tutoring and creative writing, the CCLC's after school context is inherently connected to the student's school context. Thus, the CCLC's efforts to help students with their day to day school work and also offer enrichment unique to an after school program can enrich my understanding of the way 
students context in school and after school influence how they see themselves as writers. So, clear justification about the choice. So, uh, this is what you need to do. So, if you choose say urban population, you have to say very specifically why, rural then why, then again cross sections, you know say um, upper middle class, middle class, lower income group. So, you have to give justification for the choice. Now, the writer gives more details about participants. Participants at the CCLC, I will focus on Ms. Smith's class. Ms. Smith is a former fourth grade teacher serving the center as a full time AmeriCorps member. As an AmeriCorps member, Ms. Smith works in a federal program funded by the state of Indiana for a full time 40 hour week at the CCLC. Taking place every Wednesday, the creative writing class centers around brainstorming, drafting and publishing the student work for display inside the center and on a developing web blog. I have chosen this specific class and student population because it offered the opportunity to talk to students about the school and after school writing experiences alongside the physical creative artifacts they created in Ms. Smith's class. Due to the participants weekly experience of academic tutoring and creative class time, the choice was based on the wide range of writing activities that could be probed by the broad experience based focus of the question script. So, here are details about participants. So, the writer says is going to focus on a person Ms. Smith's class, then there are details about that person. Now, data collection procedure and analysis. I will conduct focus groups and interviews with the students in Ms. Smith's class over the course of three weeks. To obtain parental consent in order to conduct the focus groups and subsequent interviews, I will email consent forms requesting each student's participation in my research. I will do so two weeks prior to the study start in order to provide the necessary time for the forms to be sent home and signed by the parents. For the complete list of questions, see Appendix A. So, you can see here the writer uh, includes the tools used in appendices. Upon receiving confirmation from Ms. Smith that the consent forms had been completed, I can then conduct focus groups and interviews with the participating students. So, this is about you know preparation and then I will audio record the focus groups and interviews. Following the end of each session, I will transcribe the recordings. Though I will not take notes during the focus groups and interviews in order to maintain total engagement with the participants, I will type a series of reflections and field notes after the completion of each audio recorded session. Following the completion of the transcriptions, I will also take more notes to identify the themes that emerge in both interviews with individual children and in the focus groups. So, about uh, you know uh, transcription procedures and um, what will happen uh, during the sessions. After analyzing student responses, I will construct several categories to explore the CCLC participant sense of self and authorial identity across contexts safe spaces, expressing interest and meaningful message and ownership. Now, implications, though many and unique compelling findings support a pedagogical shift toward new literacies, researchers uh, was there when at all 2010 tend to ignore the impact of a student's outside knowledge, experience and context for writing. Moreover, without clearly understanding the differences and similarities between academic writing and multimodal writing, educators may not see the importance of including alternative modes of literacy in the standard curriculum. So, you can see the writer here goes back to previous studies. So, again highlights what has not been looked at. Uh, so, thereby highlighting the um, contributions of the current study. So, I will skip over the remaining part of this. And uh, the next section uh, and the final section you see is working bibliography. So, include you all the studies you have um, referred to. So, here you can again see that there is a specific way of you know mentioning the works you have 
refer to. So, this we will see when we look at uh, referencing styles. So, uh, this is how you can plan your research proposal. You start with uh, introduction, you do review of research, then your methodology and then implications of course, you can have I mean you will include um, bibliography, uh, optional things would be you know appendices uh, like the tools you are going to include, these things will uh, uh, you know uh, come under uh, appendices. To sum up, uh, so in this class we have looked at uh, one important aspect of academic life that is preparing research proposals. So, we saw that you do previous studies you know to identify gap to decide what you are going to do and then you highlight uh, you know your study in relation to those. So, if you are writing to a funding agency you need to clearly say you know why they should fund you, how your study is going to be beneficial for them and um, what are the you know long term implications. You also need to include information about budget and the timeline if you are submitting for a funding agency, if you are you know uh, submitting to your instructor as part of your course, then you may not worry about the budget. Thank you.